I know where Sheridan is. I found proof in the kitchen. What are you talking about, Antonio? I'm talking about this ring. I went in there, and I accidentally knocked Luisa's jacket off the chair. And when I bent down to pick it up, I found this ring on the kitchen floor. This was our grandmother's ring. This is the ring that I gave Sheridan as our engagement ring. Now, I, I don't know how I got there, but it has to mean Sheridan is still in Harmony. It has to... It, she might have even been in this house. Tony, you don't understand. If that ring wasn't just lying on the floor, you must have knocked it out of my jacket when you bumped into it, right? Why would you have my wife's engagement ring in your jacket pocket? What's going on between you and Sheridan, huh? Why you have my wife's... Both of you guys you chill out. Yeah. You're guessing Beth Soham, that kid's in the schoolyard. You get Mrs. Wallace so upset she could have another stroke. Actually, I was starting to feel warm and tingly all over. I'm sorry I lost control. I, I just want to know why Luis has my wife's engagement ring in his pocket. And I'm going to tell you. That's just been something I've wanted to tell you for a long damn time. It's just something keeps getting in the way. Sheridan sent the ring to police headquarters. What? When? Why would she do that? Tell him, Luis. Answer Antonio's question. Sheridan sent the ring to the station while you were in Paris trying to track her down. Along with that, there was an audio tape saying that she was okay. And she didn't want to be found, all right? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? Well, I'm sorry. There's been a lot going on here with Beth and all. It uh, just slipped my mind. Well, I guess that explains the reason that I didn't find a trace of her when I was over in Paris. I guess it just proves to me that because she sent you the ring to give to me, she really doesn't want to be found. Luis, I just want to say I'm sorry for going off on you like that. I had no idea that you'd heard from Sheridan when I was in Paris looking for her. What I can't understand is why she'd want to have our baby in a foreign country when she could have it right here in harmony with me and the rest of the family. No. Doesn't seem like Sheridan at all, does it? But and look, between the, the audio tape, getting our grandmother's ring, the DVD, I, I don't know what else to do besides take Sheridan out of word. Guess you'd better keep this locked up at headquarters with the tape and DVD. I don't want to lose it. I think we should resume the house-to-house -house search for Sheridan. You what? You heard me. Okay, Antonio, I know what um, going to Paris and not finding Sheridan must have you rattled, okay? But just listen to me. We have a DVD and an audio tape from her saying that she doesn't want to be found. But what if there were fakes? What if she was forced to make that tape? What if the abductors wanted to think that she was A-OK -okay in Paris? Okay, why is it that what I wanted to find Sheridan when I was convinced she was kidnapped, you refuse to believe me? Okay, and now that we have evidence that supports that she was not... You want to start a search for her? At least you said that Sheridan would never just up and disappear like that. And why would she call us? Why wouldn't she call us to tell us that, you know, she wanted to go away for a while rather than email us and send DVDs and audio tapes? I mean, come on, Louise, think about it. I mean, uh, why would she tell us specifically where she's going on top of that? I don't know, unless maybe someone wanted us to think that she was someplace that she isn't. But the DVD definitely showed Sheridan in Paris. Digital stuff can be doctored nowadays, Hank. I mean, look at all the movies you see now. Well, that's true. All right, all right, fine. Call the station. I'll see if we can get some volunteers to start the search again. Um, you're going to help search too, right, Louise? Well, no. I said I was going to stay here by your side until you have the baby. I meant to. Beth's plan has backfired big time. Luis, you're one of Harmony's best cops. You're Sheridan's brother-in-law. You have to help find her. If she isn't in Paris, she could be a prisoner right here in Harmony. You've got to help find her before it's too late. Well, what about our baby? I promise I wouldn't leave your side. And I love you for that, okay? But I don't feel like I'm starting labor anytime soon. Yeah. 
Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> but if I do, I'll call you, okay? Besides, I've got Mother and Precious here. I won't be alone. Well, okay. All right, I'll go with Antonio then. Okay. Let's have the DVD reevaluated. If there's a hint that it's a fake, then we'll know we're on to something. Makes sense. All right, you promise you call me the second you feel like you're going into labor, okay? Okay. I'm just so glad that you're helping Antonio, because if Sheridan is in danger, I know she's glad, too. <laughs>